But now we're going to get over to Action News Now reporter Brandon Benitez, who is actually live right now in Butte County. And he has a look at one of the ways that the federal government is actually stepping up to help us uh, here in this area to basically, in case there's a hospital overflow, what we would do if that were to happen. Looks like we're all good to go. Butte County Public Health, along with Enlo Medical Services, teamed up so that way they can get a place like this rehabilitation center that I'm at right now, get it up to speed and get in transition as the coronavirus pandemic continues to grow. Evening that we'd been selected as a site, and we had to prepare the building by Monday morning. And uh, the team did a great job, and uh, the Air National Guard did a great job as well. The Federal Emergency Management Agency delivered supplies, helping turn the Enlo Rehabilitation Center into a field medical station. While many are taking precautions wearing personal protective equipment, Butte County is making sure it's ready as coronavirus cases increase daily. We need to be preparing for the possibility of a surge, and that's what you see here today. Uh, our three hospitals in Butte County have been exceptional partners in this area, have been planning really for years, but in this case for months. FEMA delivered 125 field hospital beds, each with a few days worth of supplies, to the rehab center. But what about the patients that were here already? Our normal census for inpatient rehab is anywhere from 15 to 20. Sometimes it gets a little bit bigger. We have a dedicated wing over at the Esplanade campus right now to accommodate them. With outpatient therapies, which we also provided here, uh, we were very fortunate to work a, an arrangement with Chico Sports Club, owned by Jeff Stover and his partner, and they're letting us use that great facility there for our outpatient services during this time. Yet with so much preparation, the hope is that this site can go without even being needed. Now both Dr. Miller and Wilter Mood both say that they are doing everything they possibly can to get tests readily available in the county. But another thing that Butte County Public Health is doing is they're creating a database that's supposed to launch sometime this week. They're still trying to work out the details of it, but what it would do is it would give the community some information on the individual cases. Not a lot of details, of course, that would uh, violate HIPAA rules, but it would be uh, details for the community to know just so that way they can see demographic and stuff like that there. But live in Chico, I'm Brandon Benitez, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Thanks, Brandon. Now, field medical stations are considered a short-term health care resource. They're not open to the public, and patients can only come after a clinical assessment from a health care provider.